Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. By the way, since the start of the show two hours ago, we've been live at PrisonPlanet.tv with Willie Nelson and now Naomi Wolf. Uh, here's Wired Magazine two weeks ago. Army orders pain ray trucks. New report shows potential for death. The Army's own reports admit this ray actually kills you. Uh, and, it, and it has the control to turn it into a narrow beam and kill you. And it's got a picture of uh, the weapons being deployed in the United States. And I just gave you the quotes from the AP with the head of the Air Force saying, use it on the American people first. Naomi Wolf, who's a best-selling author, journalist, won all sorts of awards. Uh, we are here talking about how this is the office of the executive claiming it uh, runs everything. They brainwash the military, even military you talk to, who are against this go well of the commander in chief says, I got to do it. I'll shoot Americans. I'll arrest Congress. That's not true. You know, Nixon again said, Well, when the president breaks the law, it's not breaking the law. Well, you saw what happened there. So, very, very serious. I want to take calls coming up in this hour for Naomi Wolf. I want to talk about her new book and solutions that her book gets into, and also the new video covering all this. She's a very influential lady and very intelligent, and we're really glad that she has the courage to get into all this. And we're going to send her more of this information. Uh, but uh, here it is, uh, Potential for Death. And, uh, Naomi, what do you think of them apples? Potential for death. I mean, you know, terrifying and, and yet not surprising. Um, because once you see footage, which is why I'm so concerned about the election, of, you know, a handful of angry voters who've just been purged from the rolls, uh, you know, speaking up and being tasered to death, oops, accidentally or in defense, or, you know, being quote unquote subdued by, you know, these lethal and non lethal technologies, which the initial Army Times uh, report said that the first brigade had and they now have um, mass tasers they now have mass tasers what you're telling me they have mass tasers yeah it's a big taser they roll out that shoots a bunch of cords out and shocks oh, yeah. alex really i can't I, I you know it's like just when i think i've reached you know i understand where we are you you bring up new information that takes it one step further all right so you know all we need is some repeating footage on cnn or fox news of you know five americans you know, in the street, brutally wounded or, or, or worse from these technologies, and then you can still have, as I've learned, you know, all the trappings of civil society intact, but people just go quiet, you know, understandably. I mean, uh, you know, when there's, when there, if there's military standing outside the polling booth, you're a lot less inclined to argue vociferously with, you know, the registrar if uh, you and all your neighbors have been purged from the rules. Well, I think Barack Obama's going to come into office, and then I think the left's going to be completely co-opted, and I don't have to go into him saying he wouldn't go for wiretapping or he'd end the war and flip-flopping. I mean, the Wall Street money's on him. He, he, this is giving him left cover. The left, the mainline left, is suddenly going to love FEMA camps and mass arrest. And, oh, God. Uh, and, I don't think so. The mainline left will be the ones you know, right in the front lines. I mean, they'll be targeted. But, but, uh, but oh, not if it's Barack it's Obama. Obama. Not if All it's... Right, so let me just say for your audience, because people have rightly said... When will Alex Jones persuade Naomi Wolf that there is, you know, that she needs to see beyond the left-right paradigm? And I have to say you all are making a lot of headway with me because um, while I still believe that an Obama presidency at least will staunch the immediate decline into a police state, I've also been saying in public again and again that it, you know, it is, it is going to be business as usual in the sense that unless there's an, an in, enraged bipartisan, transpartisan citizens movement to restore liberty and the Constitution, here's why, Barack Obama, with these rights, is going to be tempted, you know, these powers, is going to be tempted to use them just as the founders knew any leader will. And the, the trillions of dollars to be made in surveillance and security technologies um, by vested interests who benefit from a police state, you know, have the same pressures on him that they would on any other candidate. So it is going to be up to us as citizens to uh, hold any leader's feet to the fire. We are not, uh, you know, I, I'm not, I would rather have a constitutional anyone than an unconstitutional Democrat in office. Naomi Wolf, our guest for the next 50 minutes. Your phone calls at 800 25 99231. I'm going to cover the coup de grace, the key info. With her when we get back. Stay with us. The uh, series Rome is pretty accurate. And in that, 
He takes this, Caesar takes a centurion for just one part of Rome and, and says, I need you to carry out corruptions for me. And, and, and a corruption is once you get somebody on the take, now they're corrupted along with you. And so they have these emergency management centers they built in every county and city and state that are federal. And, and, and they have CIA officers in those now. And they have CIA liaisons in the city. And so th in most counties and cities, they've run thousands of former FBI agents to be sheriffs and police chiefs. They're everywhere now. And see, that's what militaries do throughout history. They take over societies. With Caesar, uh, you know, 2,040-something years ago in Rome, or it's 2,051 now, uh, you know, crossing the Rubicon. They build up this army, they bring it into Rome, they bring it into Washington, and that's what this brigade's for. It's to menace the government and menace the rest of the military. They've hired felons for the military, illegal alien felons, aggravated felons. We told you about that 10 years before it was in the news, now it's in the news. So this is real, this is happening, and it's about the looting. This is about the international crime syndicate, the brokerage firms, the select group of banks, creating a vertical integration of the economy, cutting off liquidity to cause a depression, then they'll have the only liquidity to buy it all up, and they know you're going to riot and crime's going to go up, and then you're going to beg for the U.S. military to be used. So you're, you're seeing the military, we're going to help you at car wrecks, we're going to be out there aiding firemen and police. They're just introducing it, not just the public, but the military as well. Now that's my little four-minute comment. Naomi Wolf, you've got the floor to comment on this, but this is historical. This happens 99% of the time in countries. Empires never last more than 200 years. It's happening here now, and uh, they'll let the cops go ahead and be part of it. They're going to have their pension funds taken, too. They're going to have their dollar devalued. You know, the good news about this is these things always end up falling. Naomi Wolf. Well, uh, you know, once again, you're adding um, dimensions to... Uh, that I wasn't aware of. I mean, I did know that m millions of dollars are being pumped into, as I believe I mentioned, police departments across the country in order to get the militarization that we saw at the RNC. And I did know that, I mean, one really important thing I learned um, from my research in Give Me Liberty is that something that always, always works in bringing down a tyrant is mass protests. Uh, but they're not the kind of ma protests that are legal in the United States now, the kind of mass protests that brought down the, the Berlin Wall or that restored people power in the Philippines or that liberated the Baltic states or, you know, restored democracy in Pakistan um, are illegal. And now that we have these heavily armed police, they're, they're very dangerous as well. Um, you, you're not allowed to step in the street uh, for a legal protest in the U.S. because of the 30 years of over-permitization. So I teach people and give me liberty how to stage a real protest and how to dress safely to protect yourself from you know most of these technologies. Obviously, some of them, uh, the ones you've described. But Naomi, I go back to the fear of precept. I go back to the, the you know, oh yeah. So let's talk about psychological programming. I hate. I mean, it sounds so extreme to think that this could be possible. However, I have to say I have some evidence that you're right. There's some very chilling footage from the RNC that people can see in the End of America movie, uh, which I mentioned, where you see Amy Goodman or other protesters being, uh, not Amy Goodman, being beaten. She's being rounded up, but other people are being beaten, and this heavily armed cop, could be a cop, could be a federal agent, is yelling, you're violating my constitutional rights, as he's beating this unarmed civilian. And the, the writer in me is just looking at that, thinking, something very directive is going on there. No, that's psychological and warfare. Exactly. Whenever we had people learned. attack us at the DNC and, and break our bullhorns and things, they would say, I have rights, as they pull out a knife and cut the cord. It's on video. I have rights! Extraordinary. So this is clearly organized, and you know, I'm experiencing something which is quite fascinating online, this, this, uh, this viral video that's calling for people to sort of sign up with the citizens peaceful army to restore liberty, um, the, the, the viralness of it got stopped by one poster again and again and again and again, like relentlessly, day and night, day and night, saying, she's a plant, um, if you go to her website and sign up, they're going to round you up, she's, you know, a, a Council on Foreign Relations member, you know, casting me as this uh, stealth agent, you know, for the very people I'm criticizing. And it had the effect of sort of making people go, oh, well, wait a minute. Well, you know, maybe I won't pass this around to my nearest and dearest. Um, no, exactly. Uh, so uh, relentless. We, yeah, have, we have the Army field manual uh, that was put on WikiLeaks 
about six months ago, and the Army confirmed it was real, about how the Army in Latin America would do the same thing. If somebody was getting really successful, they would come out and then say they're an agent. Now, now, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, but see, the government, and they admit Northcom is involved, quote, fighting an info war, CENTCOM, with bloggers countering us. They'll even have their handle, and you'll go back to their MySpace, and they're in uniform, and they'll have the PSYOPs uh, patch on their site. They're not, oh even, they're not even hiding it, but, but, but what they do is they assess your weaknesses in your credentials, which aren't weaknesses, uh -huh. but to them they are, and they say, well, she's a Rhodes Scholar, they're all New World right. Order, because Cecil Rhodes right, right. Did, did, you know, did set that up to set up world government. And then, right. uh, I mean, are Although, you... Although, as we've discussed, he left me out of it. You know, he yeah, left no, no, me out no, of the information. Well, regardless, yeah. you judge a tree by its fruits... Mm -hmm. Regardless, it isn't even about Naomi Wolf or Alex Jones. This is right. happening, so right. what are we right. going to do about it? And they always exactly. use fear and say, they'll get you, they'll round you up. No, no, 